We're going to move on and go ahead and do some initial value problems. Um, they usually look like in their most basic form. Uh, the problem will give you two things. dy over dx in an equation like this. And at the same time, um, basic initial value problems, you always get these two things. Uh, this is the, um, the derivative of the original function, and this is a specific condition. And they'll ask you to solve um, the initial value problem. The way that you do that, uh, this notation here, um, indicates that this is the first derivative of the original function. So um, whether or not that matters, what you want to do is go ahead and integrate this function. So you'll say the integral of 2x plus 1 dx and solve that, um, which is simple enough. The uh, integral of this is x squared, 2 over 2 is 1, and then plus x plus C. So we have now the integral of the function, um, and what we want to do is we, we put C here to account for a constant. They've given us a condition so that we can solve for C and come up with a final equation. So um, the way that we're going to do that is, is use this condition here, and what this means is um, when you plug in 0 for x, the answer you get out is 3. So basically they're giving you a point that satisfies this function and all you have to do is plug it in. So you're going to say 3 equals and then plug in 0 for x. 0 squared plus 0 plus c. So that's all you do to plug it in. Um, and then of course the answer here 3 equals 0 squared goes away, 0 goes away, and all you're left with is c. So c equals 3 so um, you then all you have to do is write your final answer, which is x squared plus x, which I'm getting from here, um, before we plugged in the zeros, and then plus c, which we solved for is 3. So if the problem asks you solve the, uh, solve the initial value problem, this is the way you're going to do it, and this is your final answer in this case. We'll go ahead and do some more examples.